Hi guys, welcome to this session on Google Sheets. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the filter function to create dynamic filters. So on the screen, I've got an example of what I'm going to cover. And you can see on the left-hand side some data in the black area, and on the right-hand side there, some filtered information. So here we have a drop-down list. If I select grade EO, and then leadership, this is the filtered results. So if I change that to AO, nobody of grade AO did leadership training, but if I change that to equal ops, they did equal ops training. If I change that to Microsoft training, none of those did Microsoft training, but if I change that to AA, they did Microsoft training. So basically you've got two filter criteria options in these two cells which then you can select. So what I want to do is first of all, just do one option and then we'll do the second option after that. So if I start off down here and I'm just going to color these cells in so they're the same colors as the ones above or similar colors, I'll go for, do it the other way around, go for yellow there, so I've got yellow. Now I want to put a list, a drop down list, a data validation list here now, I haven't got it typed anywhere, so I'm going to actually manually put that in there. And the way you do that is you go to the uh, Data tab, uh, Data Validation, and it comes up with some options for you to use. A list of items is the option I want, and then it says there, Enter items separate by comma. So I'm now needing to type in the different grades, and there's only three grades there. So I'll go A, O, comma, E, O, comma and then AA and that will be the list. Uh, save that, click on the arrow, there you can see the list. Now in the second option I've actually got the courses set there. Now I want to use a named range on this so I've highlighted this list and I've typed in there list. So I've called that list so basically just select where you want the list to or what you want the list to be. So I've highlighted that and then you type in this box, list, and press enter, and then that names that area. So now I can refer to that, same thing, but this time I can refer to that. So data validation, list, and then I'm just going to type in there equals list. That's because it's a list from a range, save, and then they should have that drop down list in there, which I do. So that's great. So I've got my two lists. Now, you don't have to do that, but if you didn't, you'd be typing the criteria either in the formula or manually in these two cells. Now, I need to get the titles for this next little bit, so I'll copy that. And then I'll just paste it down here, so I've got the titles. And then this is where I want the actual filter function to sit. But to start the filter function, you type equals, filter, open the bracket. And it's asking you for the range. Well, the range is this black table. So I'll highlight this black table, comma. Then it asks you what the what is the first condition. So the first condition is just going to be grade. So I'm just going to highlight the grade column, and then equals this cell, whatever goes in that cell. And that's all I want to do on this first bit. So if I just press enter on that, there's nothing in there, so it's not coming up with anything. If I select AO, it just shows me all the grades that are AO. EO and then AA. So that's just working straight off one um, filter. Now if I want to do this to incorporate the courses which I've got there, I obviously have to have to look at this cell. At the moment I'll put leadership there so there's something in there but this isn't doing leadership. It's got equal ops there. It's got um, equal ops and Microsoft training and leadership so it's not looking at that. Now this line, for some reason, is different to everything else, so I'm just going to paint the format off that onto there, so it's the same. That's better. Now I need to redo the formula, so if I just delete this and do it again, so this time it's going to be equals filter, open the bracket. So the range is the same, still selecting the whole table, and you could name the table comma, the first criteria will be the same, so it's the grade column equals to that first cell there, 
which says A8 at the moment. Now, that was the beginning, that was the end of the first one. Now, comma, second condition is going to be this column equal to this cell, the yellow cell. And then close the bracket, press enter. So if I go equal ops, if I go AO, there we go, loads of them. Leadership, nobody. EO, loads of people. So this gives you a dynamic filter. Um, you can obviously put a filter on this and drop the list down, but I like this because it's coming out into a separate area. You could have this on a different page if you want. Now, if I have a look at one other example, let's go to this sheet. So what I've got here is um, a similar sort of thing, basically, but I want to know, um, in this case, who's on each project. So if I select Cyprus, for example, I can see that these two people, myself and John Reed, are on the Cyprus project and things like that. So I'll do the same sort of thing again, but this time I have got two lists. So this list is called country and this list is called staff. So I'm using those for the drop down list. So if I just come down out of the way a bit and color that cell in green and that cell a different color. So data validation first of all. So data validation so it's going to be, we'll do the country first, so equals country, save, check it, there's the countries, and then this one wants to be equals staff, so if I go back into data validation, data validation equals staff, save, check. So there's my two lists, now if I just bring these titles across, if I just copy these, and sit them there. Now I need to do the filter function. So in this cell, I type equals filter, open the brackets, and then the range is still this table, range, comma. The criteria, first of all, is going to be the country that's going to be in the green cell, or whatever color that is. And then that equals this cell. I press enter on that. No matches found because there's no country, but if I select Cyprus, it brings those two people back. Both of those are in Cyprus. Now if I delete that one again, just to go over it again, now I'm going to pick both of these up, so it'll only bring back one person unless there's a duplicate down there. So if I type equals filter open the brackets, so the range is the same, comma, the criteria for the country is equals this cell, comma, and the criteria for staff equals this cell, press enter on that, select myself, and then it brings that person in, that information in. So if you wanted to see or have a filter that just showed you the person, if I go um, come down below and do another one, so if I just have one option this time, so I'll just colour this one in um, that colour, and in there I'll do a data validation list, data validation equals staff, and then that gives me that list, and then I'll just copy the titles again, copy, control C, let's bring it down, in fact I'll just bring it underneath there, paste, now if I do the filter here, so this time I'm going to look at staff, so it's equals filter, open the bracket, the range is still the same table, comma, the criteria is going to be the staff area, and that needs to equal whatever goes in this green box, press enter on that, nothing there at the moment, select my name, brings back all my projects, 
select Tom Jones, brings back his, John Reed brings back his. So it's quite a dynamic, quite a quick way of doing a filter. So that's all I want to talk about in this little session. So hopefully that was of use. You don't always have to go and do a VLOOKUP when you want to pull this sort of information off. VLOOKUP's got its use. But this filter function is, a, in my view, a quantum leap better than what the old filters were, where you're just dropping down a list. It used to be a filter where you could drop things onto separate sheets, but this is a far, far more dynamic option. So hopefully it's of use. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you in the next one.